guys, what's going on? This is MyHD2 and others, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make your Galaxy Note 3 a lot faster. So you can actually use this tutorial for other phones like the Galaxy S4, the Galaxy S5, Galaxy S3, pretty much any Samsung or any Android phone out there if it lacks for you. But this tutorial is targeted more towards the Samsung phones because they usually have more problems with lag and stuff like that. So this tutorial is going to be used with my Galaxy Note 3 as the main device because this is what phone I actually use. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your internet browser from your phone and you're going to want to type in Google Experience Launcher. And this is not in the Play Store, you're going to have to download this from XDA developers. So click on that, second link right there. I'll Include all the links actually in the description below so you don't even need to worry about this. So, I don't know if you can see. Let's go ahead and so we have Google Launcher app right here, and it's going to tell you how to install it and everything. So, just make sure to follow these instructions and you'll be able to download it. So, once you have it downloaded and installed. Let's go ahead and actually use it now. So this is what it looks like. Let's change the wallpaper, it's kind of in my face. I don't like it too much. There we go. All right, so now we have the Google Now or Google Experience Launcher and it's pretty nice and it makes the phone a lot faster, but we still have the lag when you go to other apps and stuff like that so that's what we're going to want to fix the next thing you want to do is go into developer options so go to settings general and then scroll down to developer options and we're going to want to go down and you're going to want to turn off hardware overlays you're going to want to force GPU rendering. So this is going to pretty much force the GPU to do most of the work, which is going to make the phone a lot faster and it's it's going to make it stutter much less. Um, actually, after choosing all these options, I found apps and my whole experience to be a lot faster. Also, if you play a lot of games on Android and you have seen some stuttering, I would turn on the 4 times MSAA because this actually makes the game uh, a little bit smoother. I have found that, I don't know why, but it makes the game just more optimized, it seems. Uh, now, it does slow down the game a little bit. The FPS will go down a little bit because you are pushing 4 times anti-aliasing correction to the game, but it's going to actually make it more smooth so it matters on what you want so if the game is kind of stuttery I would turn it on if the game is not stuttery um, I would turn it off because you're gonna get more FPS alright so the third thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download this app called Greenify so this app actually pretty much works like iOS it slows down some of the apps um, it, it kind of like, not, it doesn't slow down, but it hibernates the apps that you're not using. So anything that you're not using, it puts on pretty much sleep mode, just like iOS. So, you know, original Android would just uh, pretty much run them in the background, but this puts them to sleep in the exact place that they were. So when you open them again, they're going to be restarted to exactly where you left off the apps at pretty much exactly like iOS so go ahead and download this and once you download it go to um, device accessibilities and you'll get you're gonna see uh, let's go here you're gonna see Greenify and turn this on so that it uh, turns on automatically so you don't have to go into the app every single time and hibernate the apps uh, manually it's gonna automatically do it for you also, I forgot one thing, go back into developer options and also you're going to want to limit background processes for four processes at most. But only do this if you're not using Greenify. So if you're using Greenify, just leave this at the standard limit. Uh, if, you're, if you don't want to use Greenify, just limit the processes in the background for four apps 
and that's it. All right, guys, so this is going to make your experience on Android a lot faster. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. See you guys later.